Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play more Uber Russia. Yes, our mighty fortress is under siege that we don't even know about. How do we know it? Is? How do we know it's under siege if we don't know about it? Explain this to me. The Kazakh Patriots. Okay. It's unfortunate for you. We'll totally take this uh, religious tradition. The strength of our faith and public displays of piety and worship are admired by other lands, both near and far. This is reflected in the prestige and glory to our realm. Sweet. High quality ammunition for our one cannon, the Big Bessie. Or Bertha. Did we call it Bessie or Bertha? I can't remember. I think it was I think it was Bertha. I think it was Big Bertha. Pretty sure. Um, hey, our drunken peasants are down to like nothing now. What happened? How come it went down to like I mean it, it was always positive. But suddenly it's down to zero percent instead of ninety percent. It's kinda weird. Uh Muscovy is westernized, good for them. We'll go ahead and uh start sieging some stuff offensively then. I mean you only have well there's a few troops out there. We'll see. We'll see if I can... I can't see some of this territory, so we'll put the majority here. It's the middle of summer, so hopefully we're not going to suffer too much attrition in this upcoming winter. Someone's joined the Protestant League. Now, I don't believe that there is any military... I don't... Did you guys... Do you remember seeing anybody come through over here? I don't think so. So I think we can probably sneak some armies down that way. Let's go really thin, actually. Very few troops need to stay up there. We're suffering 0.7. It's actually 0.75. I really feel like... Well, hold on. Why is it that it rounded down? Well, it makes sense if you think about it. There's a thousand troops. 10% would be 100. 1% would be 10. 0.7 would be 7 men. You can't have 0.75. But if that's the case, why not just make all the modifiers that reduce, like, attrition multiples of 10 instead of 5? You know, like, to improve forge mining, minus 30%. And then that way you won't, I don't know. I don't like rounding. Rounding's weird, man. Alright, we're gonna wait for the reinforcements before we move into Tanu Buryankai. I'm not feeling particularly creative. I can't, uh, I can't think of new vodkas to name our lands. We'll just let them continue being named whatever they want to be named. While we're here, I guess let's take like one. Oh, not the Pedrero, not not Big Bertha. Can I rename my? Uh, let's let's rename this cannon. This is the Big Bertha. Bertha? No, it's the knee. Berth Bertha. Yes. Excellent. That is perfect. Let's go and explore our occupied territories. We have not discovered Buryatia, Buryatia, yet. So it's going to take us a while to move into there. It takes a whole month to move into TI. Even if you have it occupied. <laughs> oh jeez, that's quite funny, isn't it? I, th I think it's funny. Norway has adopted a new form of government, administrative monarchy. The Maya! Interesting. They'll be forced to give land. A lot of land, in fact. And they did rise up. They do that occasionally, but it's such a small amount that it doesn't really bother me. Hey, no guy, what's up? Okay. How's your enthusiasm, no guy? It's very good. It's very good. We're gonna stay together forever. We're bestest buddies. I don't never wanna give you up, never gonna let you down, never gonna something something and desert you. That's not the lyric. How's the lyric go? Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. I don't remember it. Someone will have to link it in the description down below, perhaps. It's a pretty good song. I bet that guy had no idea it was gonna be as popular as it was. He doesn't sound like his face looks. He looks weird to me. I guess that's probably just because he's got a red head. Like, redheads look weird. They sound weirder to me. It's a very broad statement. Probably shouldn't make it, but... <laughs> He doesn't sound like he should look like that. He sounds weirder than that. Anyway, I'm really digging myself into a hole here. We're about to get Military Tech 12, which is very exciting, because we're going to get some more supply limits. Um, the 50% is a bit misleading. It's not going to increase all of our supply by 50%. It's going to increase the modifier to the base supply by 50%, which is interesting. It's good. Oh, incidentally, and I almost feel like I had an effect on this. The uh, the terrain, right? Remember how I was complaining a while back about how some terrain doesn't have the defensiveness? Right? It says right there, local defensiveness plus 25%. It wasn't applying. Well, look, it is! 
mountains plus 25, the 1.11.3 the patch fixed that. So now, hills. Hills? Where's, where do we have some hills? We got forest. Forest doesn't provide. I think it's just like hills. Let's go find some hills. Hills. Marsh? No. What do hills look like? Here we go. Hills. Yeah, they're 10%. It's only like two province types. Maybe three if you count, I think, desert mountains. Or did they get rid of desert mountains? There weren't very many provinces that actually were like desert mountain. I think it's just the two provinces. Yeah, mountains and hills. They actually provide defensiveness, but that's good. You know? That's good that the game does what it says that it should. So we are losing some dudes during our siege, and this, this severe winter is less than ideal. Look at that severe winter. So severe. Severe is under severe winter. Oh, you know what? I would have guessed that this looked different and that this was not going to be severe, but that's just the trees that make it look different. It's all mostly severe. Let's see if we can like predict where it's going to be mild. I bet this is this is mild winter. Ah, uh, no, that's normal. Huh. This is mild. Mild, you can barely even tell that it's happening. Even down here. Well, I guess visually it kinda kinda isn't perfect. For being able to see it on the train map mode. See, normal win mild winter, mild winter, no winter. They look the same to me, these two. So maybe that's it. Maybe mild winter is just not displayed at all. And then there's only two levels to it. There's like normal and then harsh. That might be it. So is this one not sir? Yep, see that one's mild. You can tell. You can tell right there. This is normal. This is mild. Mild. Okay, cool. Well, I think I figured out how to use that then. That's pretty handy. Kind of, not really. Doesn't, doesn't really affect much, but... So, unfortunately, because of that uh, complaint that I had, now this, this mountain's going to take a little bit longer to, to siege out. Sunni zealots are on the rise. They don't like that I'm trying to convert them in perm. Well, we are trying to con culture convert Goldschlager, which was Bashkir. Um, is there any other land we can convert? No, Bashkir's like the only one. We've got some more Uralic, but it still has nationalism until 55. So next year we can start culture converting some more land. Alright. I'm perfectly content to let this war take a long time. We will definitely take this thing for the tactics that'll help our siege speed. Also gives us access to the infantry types. So let's take a look at our modifiers. So for infantry, we still do roughly double damage for shock right now. You know what? Every time I try to pick a new unit type, I usually look at it, but I never look at it when I take technology levels that increase the modifiers. So I should remember to look at it every time. Anyway, we do mostly shock damage. So I think focusing on shock damage. Well, they have three pips either way. Do we want offensive morale or defensive fire? No, I'm sorry. These are equal. These are reversed. The only difference between them... Well, hold on. These two are equal. Three, four, and four. So there's two changes. This one has an extra offensive morale and then one less defensive morale. And then this one's got offensive shock instead of defensive shock. I definitely like offensive. It's just better, I think. Of course, that was all of our morale since all we have is infantry, but still. There is more land down here. Uh, we're going to continue to explore this land. Hopefully they weren't sitting right here, and now they're going to come attack me. They might. It could happen. Do we want to lose prestige or get disorder? Well, our national unrest is negative right now. I think we just keep our prestige. It's not a big deal for us. How's the, uh, thing looking? Catholic League looks fairly strong. They got France on their side. Great Britain. Great Britain's not uh, 
Well, Great Britain's... Wait, excuse me? How does that make sense? Great Britain's Protestant. Why are they in the Catholic League? I think you're confused. Let's see if there are any other Protestant members who are in the Catholic League. Baden. Seems kind of silly to me. Are there any Catholics on the Protestant League? No, yeah, Hungary. Burgundy, Spain, Poland. <laughs> okay. Whatever you guys say. Hey, Goldschlugger got converted. You might hear a few new songs, by the way, since I do have a hey, 69% fort defense. I have, um, Guns, Drums, and Steel episode or group, you know, DLC number two. Which is, uh, it's pretty cool. This is a new song, by the way. That's why I mentioned it. Actually, all of the Guns, Drums, and Steel songs are remakes of the existing songs. So you'll hear similar similarities between this song and the other songs. In fact, if you look it up, this is My Kingdom. You can go listen to the regular My Kingdom and compare it to this one, and they're the same song. They're just you know, This one's kind of a heavy metal version of it, which is cool. It's very cool. Don't tell me it's not cool, because it is cool. Naples and Venice have joined. Avignon. Should we, uh, should we join? Should we be part of the war? Brandenburg just lost a war. Ooh, that means that they've got some isolated territory there. Weird. They've still got Danzig. That's the important one. Okay, I was thinking about annexing Kazan, but I remember we had a diplomatic reputation problem. Uh, we were thinking about hiring a diplomatic reputation advisor. We don't have any. So until we get one, we really can't integrate Kazan. Oirat are... I think the Oirat extend to, like, over here. And they've got their army way over there fighting Manchu. We'll probably end the war pretty quick. I think we've got enough. I want to finish this siege. Oh, we've engaged the enemy. Alright, good. Take the one stack. Did that count as a battle? Yes, it did. We're at 66%. Sweet. Well, if we could win just a couple more battles and get a ticking war score, that'd be even better. Hungary declared war on Moldavia. I want to take as many of these little one base tax Buddhist provinces as possible. This is their capital, so I can't take that. I mean, I might take all this land. I'll take the twos. Twos won't be that hard to take, really. Alright, we're getting pretty high on... What's it going to take to actually form Russia? We should do that. We need Moskva, Novgorod. Yeah, we've got to expand quite a bit to actually make that happen. Our colony has finished growing. Yay. I think we'll finish filling these ones out. It's just because they're going to core, or they're going to they're gonna actually grow a little tiny bit faster. Not having that, that modifier. The Arctic. Okay, uh, we need another 190 points, and we can finish off this thing, get our religious conversion speed up, and that'll be great, because then we'll actually be able to integrate Kazan and Sabir and be able to convert their territory. It's a lot of conversion speed. The Buddhists are going to be very easy to integrate, very easy to bring into the fold. Their culture might just need to remove it. I'm thinking that it doesn't belong. Which one of these is not like the others? Uh, the one that's not our culture. Okay, we've explored pretty much everything down there. There is some territory down here. We could go try to explore that. For now, let's just combine our army. We're gonna catch you. 9th, 26th. Good. 
Our truce with the Ottomans has expired. Okay. Uh, we could hire a Master of Mint. Temporarily, that would help out quite a bit. Inflation changes by 0 0.06. National Unrest guy. Do we need him? I don't think we really need him. I think we're doing fine on Unrest right now. What provinces have Unrest? Just Perm, and that's only because we're trying to convert it. Yeah, let's go for the yearly inflation guy. We are at 66% of battles. I hope this one counts. 0.32 war score. I usually think if you get war score, it does count. Hey, 69%. Somebody call Northern Lion! <laughs> you know what's important. Call him! So at 10, 10 Monarch points a month, we're going to be able to do that pretty soon. Minus the 10 we just had to spend there. And... Only three available provinces to colonize. Which one do we want? Probably the one that's not Arctic. We'll save the rest for later. A little snack for the future. Disorder has expired, good. You know, we don't really need to siege this land. We could probably end the war right now. Alright, let's start setting up what we want. Definitely want this to go to there, because that's their core. Uh, we definitely want Sibir to take on a little bit of land for us, just so we don't have to deal with the overextension. Although, this is same continent. I could take these one base tax... Oh, well, they're Sunni, though. Let's wait until we finish the idea group before we worry about taking this stuff. I'll just... I'll just give it to Sabir. And then we'll core it ourselves. No guy, do you have any claims? Nope, so you're not going to be upset if I give it all to Sabir. Cool. So we got one, two, three... Two, two provinces that are one base tax. One that's two. Let's start with the two. And then that one. And how much war score is that going to be so far? Doesn't cost us any Diplo points. Sweet. The Oirat Conquest of Uber Russia. I love it. It's good stuff. Um, oops. Yep. Yeah. So that's 29 more score to give them all that. One of them's a core. They're going to end up taking on just four base tax. It's not even a big deal. Maybe we give them even one more. Another three base tax? Sure. Okay. And then what I want is... I don't want to take the Sunni territory... But this Buddhist stuff, I'm all about that. So give me this and this. And give me this. This one is also Buddhist, give me that. Let's sort by overextension, maybe we can... Take that one. Well, this will work out pretty well, because it's going to split them. That's their capital, we can't take that. Okay, so I guess we do need a little bit more war score. I want I want this is what I want. That land right there. Alright, I'm gonna take a break here. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching everyone. See you soon.